All right, guys, um, we're really not on the trap line, but we skinned this coyote out that we caught, and I thought I would show you something. Most of you guys, again, may know this, some of you may not. A lot of guys think they skin their coyotes and they, you know, basically get the pelts and they finish them or sell them or keep them or whatever, and then they toss the dogs. Well, there's glands in all these animals that if you catch enough of these things and it's worth your while and you can keep them and save them, a lot of uh, lower bait makers will buy them or you can, you know, you can barter with them and trade uh, for baits and lures for their baits and lures in exchange for the glands. So I thought I'd do a quick video showing you. I'm gonna show you the glands that I use and the ones that my bait and lure makers that, uh, that want, they want from me. There's other glands on here that I don't fool with, so, but I will go over the ones I use. The first, actually I'll tell you, there's the D-pads. I give I give the D-pads, the anal gland, along with some of the digestive tract, and I'll show you that, the reproductive gland. Uh, we cut the bladder out. Uh, we have glands here called the hawk, hawk glands. We'll cut those out. And then there's glands in the neck that I'll show you. But you want to make sure you got a good sharp knife. Um, I'll just do one of these. There's four, both front and back. Um, I just basically put my knife in at a 90 degree angle. Turn it once I get down to the, the meat. And as you start cutting, it'll come right out. Now, um, you'll find out a lot of these guys don't want a lot of hair on these things. But sometimes it's easier to cut them out. And then after you get them cut out, you can sit down and cut some of the hair off and things of that nature. But that's it, that's all there is to it. You cut the D-pads out, I take all four of them, both front and back. And of course, I, my stuff's frozen, but I usually have a, a jar I'll put those in. I'm just gonna set them over here for, um, for time's sake. Uh, the next one are called the hot glands, H-O-C-K. They're in the back of the legs. I went ahead and opened this one up. They're, if you look at this, there's a layer of fat there. They lay inside that layer of fat, and I went ahead just for to save time, I went ahead and opened that layer of fat up, and if you'll look, right there's that gland. It's probably, what would you say, pea-sized, a pea-sized gland. Bigger than a pea, a little bit bigger than a pea. Lima bean, maybe yeah, like a little bean. bean. It's that one's probably um, flesh-collared, and to be honest with you, this is a big one. I mean, this is almost like a jelly bean size. Some of them you'll find when you cut in when you cut in there to get them out. And size of the dog does not matter. No. Nope. But that's what you're looking for. And you need to try to get, most guys don't want a bunch of fat on them. You need to try to get as much fat off as you can. But anyway, I'm not going to get the other one because of time's sake. But you can see where we took this one out. If you just lay that layer of fat open, and start peeling it back, it lays inside all this fat in here. Sometimes you have to feel around for it, it'll be in the fat. And there it lays, it lays right in there. So take your time, dig through it, try to get most of the fat off of it, but that's what it should look like. And that's actually a big one. Sometimes they'll be really small, but get that, put it in there. Another thing to keep in mind, some of these guys want all these together, they don't care. Some of them want the D-pads separate. You'll just need to ask these bait makers how they want them. Um, some of them want the reproductive glands, both on a male and a female. Um, you know, I, if that's the case, you, you can, I'm actually gonna pull this through and cut it out, but the anal gland has, basically has two glands on the outside of it, one on each side of the anus. And what they want is they want six to eight inches of the digestive tract. Some of them want the feces in it. Some of them want the feces out. I always pull the, or run the feces out. But if take a good sharp knife, there's the butthole. As the butthole sits in there, just cut around it, cut the layers of fat away. And as you do, you'll be able to basically pull that out of there, cut it. Basically about eight, six to eight inches of the um, digestive tract. Uh, my guys don't like the feces in them, so I basically just, if there's, there's really nothing in this one, I just run them out and, 
And that's it for that. Next is the bladder. I usually like to, to take my finger about a half inch on my knife. That way you don't you definitely don't want to get in those guts. Some of you guys that deer hunt and, and gut these animals, you know what it's like to cut into the cut into the guts. Open it up, and most of the time you're gonna find 90, I won't say 99, but 90% of the time, there is nothing in the bladder. If there is, bottle it up. Pull that bladder out if this thing would be full. A lot of times your bobcats will have it. Try to get the fat off. If this thing would be full, that's what it looks like, but pull it out, basically cut it off, pinch it off, and pour it in your bottle that you're using with your urine, and don't get no better than that. But this one has nothing in it. Most of the time they don't. Basically just cut it off. This is a female. So there's no testicles to remove. We pull a rep uh, reproductive organ out. See as it goes down, it splits off to both ovaries. I don't get the ovaries. You can basically cut that off right there. Put it in your stack. And what's that leave us? The neck. We've got we got D pads, hocks. Anal, reproductive tract, bladder. I'll lay it down to show you the neck bladder. And again, to save time, I went ahead and opened it up so you'd be able to see it very good. Here's the gland in the neck. Basically, if you see the jawbone, this is a muscle in the jawbone. That gland lays right there. I can feel it. You can almost see it under the skin. It's almost like a flesh collared. And these are generally pretty decent sized glands. They'll have like a, a fascia, almost like a skin type thing around them. You can basically, and I'm not gonna do it for time's sake. You guys are smart enough to figure that out for sure. I'm not very smart and I did. You can take your knife and run it up under that little red layer of uh, fascia and peel that out. And it comes out almost like a flesh collared. <clears throat> little pinker than the other glands. Peel that out of there, cut all that stuff off of there, clean it up really good and nice. And what you can do is you don't have to, um, you do not have to, to send these every time you, you cut them out. So what I do is, my, my guy doesn't care, so I'll put all those in a, in a, zip, a Ziploc bag and then put them in a, a, like a mason jar and keep them in my deep freeze. And then when the season's over, I send them to him and he tells me, hey, it's worth this or it's worth that. Here's the way I look at it. Anything you can save off of that coyote and send to them, whether it's five coyotes or 50 coyotes, if they're willing to take it, it's gonna save you money in the long run. Anyway, I hope this helps you guys out. Some of you may still chuck them and that's fine. Uh, we like to skin them and take care of them as far as trying to make a little money. Um, cutting those glands out will save you some money if you take the time to do it. Again, if you have questions, I love helping people, I love the Lord, and I wanna do what's right by Him and what's right by mankind. So if you have questions and you wanna help or you wanna know things in terms of this predator trap and things of that nature, uh, shoot me a message, I'd love to help you. I'll catch you somewhere else down the line.